Qing rulers were Manchuria people. When they lived outside Shanghai Pass, they were hunters and gathers. Pan Fa and Bao Tou were two most common hairstyles, because wearing those hairstyles were convenient for working. Pan Fa is a very simple hairstyle, generally. Created traditional three-strand braid first, then put them around the head. Bauto also is a simple hairstyle. First, created a large round barn-shaped hair at the top of the head, then cover it using a black cloth. In early Qing Dynasty. Pan Fa and Bauto were still the most common hairstyles used by imperial women. Xiao Liang Ba appeared later than Pan Fa and Bauto. It was another popular hairstyle in early Qing Dynasty. Pan Fa, Bauto, and Xiao Liang Ba were created using real hair. This means. Those hairstyles couldn't support many heavy hairpins, so during this time, imperial women usually decorated their hair using real or artificial flowers and light hairpins. In the early Qing Dynasty, the government didn't have enough money to spend on the inner court, so. During this period, the imperial women didn't wear many hair decorations. But with the society becoming stable, imperial women get more and more valuable hair decorations. They wanted to wear more hairpins, so the hairstyles changed accordingly. In the middle of the Qing Dynasty. Pan Fa became less and less popular. Bao Tou was replaced by Dian Zi. Xiao Liang Ba was replaced by Liang Ba Tou. Dian Zi is a Qing unique hairdress, but it appeared until late Kangxi's time, and became popular in Yongzheng's time. When made Dian Zi. It started from a black hat, then both front side and back side were decorated by dian hua and other decorations. When wearing dians, the front side was placed on the top of the head, and the back side was placed on the back of the head. Dians. Briefly had two kinds, including man dian and ban dian. Man dian was more formal than ban dian. The basic man dian had fifteen dian hua, fourteen dian hua were on front, and one big dian hua was on the back. Man dian could have liu su, but it is not required. Basic ban dian had seven dian hua, four on the front, three on the back. Ban dian could not have liu su. When using phonics as dian hua, this kind of man dian was called feng dian. Feng dian appeared in Qianlong's time. It was more formal than regular man dian. And only high-rank imperial women were allowed to wear feng dian. This feng dian was belonged to the empress. It had five golden phonix. Each phonix was decorated by dong zhu, which was a very valuable freshwater pearl growing in northeast area. Now this feng dian was stored in the Palace Museum, Beijing, China. In the very late Qing Dynasty, a huge headdress called the 
挑杆点子 was appeared. It was commonly used in the winding ceremonies of upper class, upper class families. In the inner court, 挑杆点子 almost replaced the 凤点两把头 appeared in the middle of Qianlong's time. At the very beginning, it was created by large real hair and some artificial hair. But with imperial women got more and more beautiful hairpins, they were eager to wear more hairpins. So some assistant tools were used to make the 两把头 Using T-shaped hairpins, the imperial women could make their hair longer. Bian Fang could make the hair higher. T-shaped hairpins and Bian Fang could use together. The very big Liang Ba Tou needed the help of Frame. Based on the big Liang Ba Tou. In late Qing Dynasty, Da La Chi was invented by the Empress Dowager Cixi. Da La Chi was made by black clothes, no real or artificial hair needed, so it could be decorated by lots of jewels, and no one could stop them becoming bigger and bigger. In the early age of the Republic of China. Da La Chi reached to thirty-three centimeters. I give them a name, Da La Chi Plus. With the revolution of China, traditional hairstyles were disappeared in people's daily life. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.